it's the 2nd of September and we're in a cornfield from John and Ben Aarons in Sumas Prairie. This is Master's Choice 3223. Um, that was planted about the 18th of May and it's got a little ways to go yet. It's just kind of just turning yellow and I had a lot of phone calls this week about is my corn, when you expect the corn to be ready, whereabouts is it at. Um, We've made up quite a bit of ground. There's some heat coming up this upcoming week after the Labor Day long weekend. So it's got the 33 degrees. That's definitely going to ripen this corn up. But if you look at this corn right now, you can see that there's still lots of green uh, in the way of sugars inside the plant. That's going to change over the next two weeks and that's going to die down or dull down quite a bit. That sugar is going to go into these cobs and form more starch and fill it out. And then we're going to get what's called a milk line. So when you crack a cob off and you crack it in half, you should be able to see a line around the corn basically um, that's darker and that's your milk line. We want that to be roughly at 50% and as you can see the milk is squirting everywhere. We're not even close to that yet or anywhere near that. So the milk line hasn't quite formed but it will be there um, shortly. So again when do I estimate so this corn plant in May 18th the 2300 heat unit master's choice corn my guess is going to be ready to go sometime around the 20th of May the 20 sorry the 20th of September to the 25th of September somewhere in there it's going to be going to be ready to go we're then going to see these leaves start changing they're going to start dying up and the wrappers on the cob are going to get more a browner color that they're kind of finished off as well I'm going to show you some pictures from last year of some corn that we took as well too it was ready to go so so we've got a little ways to go yet, um, but the most important thing coming up in the next week um, is to make sure you get your harvesters set to go. Now's the time to drop them off at the dealer and say, hey, look at, check out some bearings, check this out. Make sure your process is already ready, ready set to go as well. And your shear bars that you're filling it with grass, like today, a lot of guys are busy filling grass up. Make sure you pull that shear bar out, flip it over so you have a fresh side on there. Really, really important. Otherwise, the corn um, gets shredded. Some people say, well, when I put a new shear bar in the springtime, that should be good for the corn. It's not. Um, the grass basically has worn it off, the odd mole hill that you hit and so forth. It's going to round that shear bar out and it's going to strip the corn quite a bit. Just make sure, really important, that you flip that shear bar over so you've got a fresh clean edge. Make sure your knives are sharp. Check your process to make sure the bearings all are in good shape and you have it really nice and tight. We want to make sure those kernels are busted up into two or three parts. So a lot of guys have it at at one mil or a mil and a half at the most to make sure those kernels get ripped apart really, really well. The second thing you've got to make sure is your cut length. You basically want it at a little over a half inch, probably at about five eighths is probably the best cut length to go at. You can figure that out in millimeters, but that's really important as well too to make sure your cut length is good, the shear bar is good, and then we can keep an eye on the corn and see where we're going. But I would say most of the corn for sure won't be ready to go. Even some of the earths that planted the 20th of April, a 2600 heat unit um, is farther along than this obviously, but again it won't be ready to go at the earliest at the 15th of September. So we're a little bit later this year because of the very cool wet June that we had. Uh, we're making up a bit of ground now, um, then we'll see where things end up.